Hello everybody, welcome to my channel today. So I am sharing with you guys some of the things I bought from the Aritzia Boxing Day sale. Um, I apologize that sale is now over, but I only got the last of my things. I ordered some of it online, some in store, and some of it only arrived on Wednesday, which was the last day of the sale. They said there is still a lot of things that are going to be on sale, but not the entire store. Now, take the entire store being on sale with a grain of salt <laughs> because sometimes their uh, sale isn't really a sale. I mean, some of the items, they're not even 10% off, but that's a whole other rant. <laughs> so if you're familiar with Aritzia, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to share with you a couple of pieces. I didn't buy a whole lot. I just bought a couple of things uh, because it was on sale and there were a few things that I had been eyeballing for quite a while and I picked them up during the sale. So the first one is is this turtleneck so you guys know I love my turtlenecks and I love my Aritzia turtlenecks and I buy them every year I usually buy them Black Friday and Boxing Day and then that lasts me for the season and then I pick up some new colors for the following season so I don't know about you guys but I just have to mention that I have noticed a dramatic um, drop in the quality of a lot of their sweaters and some of their garments in um, general um, this isn't a bash against Aritzia. I do really, really enjoy them, but they are very, very expensive clothing. And I'm finding that some of the things just, the quality just isn't there, in particular, these wool sweaters. So I have bought quite a few over the past, probably three years now, and they're all kind of the same, and they always fall under Babaton, Group by Babaton, um, Wilfred, or a brand that was called Community, which has now disappeared, but they're all very similar in style and this type of fabric. And I found that they pill very, very quickly. I have another one that had, it's, um, I bought it at my uh, Black Friday, I think. I'll insert a photo, I think it's called the Montpellier sweater. It doesn't have this um, Angora fluffiness to it, but even that has started pilling. Now this one, um, I bought at the uh, Black Friday, so I've had it not even two months yet, and I can already see where it is starting to pill and ball. I don't know if you can really see that on camera. Um, so I find that really irritating, but luckily I got these at half price. That's something I watch for. I will never pay full price for any of these because I don't think they are worth it. So I got this gray one. Um, even though I knew this one had already started pilling, I still ended up buying another one because I do really enjoy them. Um, I think they're super warm and cozy and cute, but I would only pay half price. Let's put it that way. So this is the gray one. It is a little bit shorter than some of the other styles that I own that you can see in the photos here. I'm going to insert try-ons. Um, so it is a little bit of a crop, um, but it's still that nice, cozy, fuzzy fabric. It does have a weird turtleneck. So I'm wearing it in the full turtleneck right now, which I find is too high. But if you roll it down, I find it's too low. So it's kind of they're just short, maybe an inch where you could roll it twice to get a nice full um, proper turtleneck rather than this one, which I think is just a little too high. So anyway, I do really like the sweater. I love the color. I love soft gray and I paired it also wearing a blazer so you could kind of see it under that so you can kind of dress it up a little bit and also just wear it as a warm, cozy sweater, which is kind of my style uh, for the most part. Um, I live in a climate where it's quite cool, so um, I get a lot of wear out of sweaters. So I am really enjoying it, but again, if you're looking at these sweaters, get them at half price. The next item is a long kind of trench coat blazer coat. Um, I've been wanting one of these. I've been looking at the Quincy. I do own that one in green and I've been wanting it in black but that is a little bit more of a casual. This is more of a tailored coat. Looking back I should have switched it. This one is a size 6 and the one I bought um, I should have bought with a four and it is now past the deadline to exchange. Um, I tried it on for my mom who is a seamstress and she said because it fit in the shoulders that it was the proper size for me. But looking at my try-ons and everything, I feel it is a little bit um, bulky 
and isn't as tailored as I would prefer. So I might have to ask mom to cinch it in a little bit for me because I do find it a little bit big and the sleeves are slightly long, but it is a gorgeous crepe fabric. This was half price. I got it for a great deal. So it was one of the really good um, sale items during the sale. It is a lined coat, which is also very nice. This one is from Babaton and it has that nice kick pleat at the back. So it is a lovely tailored coat. It has pockets that you can actually put your hand in. It is a beautiful coat. So I have worn it on top of a t-shirt and then I also wore it on top of this sweater and I think it's quite lovely, but I do think it needs a little bit of um, fine tuning and tailoring slightly. And that is my own fault for not exchanging it for a smaller size. Anyway, so the next thing is this Wilfred T t-shirt. I got this in a small, I actually own this same t-shirt in a white, but it's Babaton, but it looks exactly the same, same fabric, same style, same everything. So I think, I don't know if they change their styles and just use, they have house brands like Wilfred Free, Babaton, um, Wilfred, regular Wilfred, and their styles all kind of intermix. So I have no idea. I don't know anything about Aritzia. I don't know anybody that works there, so I can't ask. But anyway, this is just a plain t-shirt. I love wearing a t-shirt and a blazer. I think it looks really smart. I like to wear things like that on the plane. Um, I just think it adds a little element of elegance to your outfit, but it is still a little bit casual and very comfortable. So I am wearing it with that long trench coat style. And then I also added a scarf. Um, I did find this to be a little low cut. Um, I bought a couple of their tops just lately and all of them tend to be a little too low for my comfort. So I just paired it with a scarf that I already own. It's just shades of gray and mauve and I just thought it went beautifully with this color. This isn't your traditional gray. Like I would say this is a traditional gray and this has a little bit more of a lavender to it um, or a lilac and this one is called Inland Gray Grease. So it's, um, it is a slightly see-through type of fabric too, but it is a lovely model type of um, jersey. So it drapes beautifully. It probably wouldn't wrinkle um, if you pack and travel with it. And I don't think this will pill. My other one that was Babaton didn't pill at all, which I really, really enjoy. I should also mention the size for this is a extra small. I find their small sweaters are just a little bit too bulky, so extra small tends to fit me well. Their sizing is absurd. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. A lot of their things that fit me are extra, extra small, and I think that should be for very, very petite women. Um, I'm five foot six, 130 something pounds. There's no way I'm an extra, extra small. So anyway, that's another rant that <laughs> we'll leave for another day. So this blazer, here we go, this is gonna be a rant. Um, I have wanted this blazer for so long. It is called the Macaulay blazer. It is a three quarter sleeve and it has kind of a cinch ruched kind of um, effect. The pockets are on the side, which is so comfy and casual. It drapes beautifully. It is just such a sharp blazer that you could wear on top of a t-shirt. I am going to wear this in the summertime with shorts and a t-shirt or a camisole tank, and I think it would look fantastic. I am toying with the idea of wearing it on the plane. I'm trying to decide between this or a Barefoot Dreams cardigan. Um, I know those are so much more cozy and comfortable for the plane, but once I get to Australia, I won't have any use for it, at least I hope not. Whereas a, a comfy, casual, smart blazer, I might have a little bit more use for. So I'm trying to decide that, but I will let you guys know. The one thing I don't like about this, A, is the price. <laughs> It isn't even a lined blazer. Um, so that really irked me that it's such an expensive blazer and it was $10 off. I kid you not, their sale was $10. It wasn't even 10% off. It's just, I find that a bit insulting and I actually did say that to the lady that, it, and she said, well, it's one of our most popular sellers. Well, then just don't put it on sale. It's just, I mean, for the $10, it's just insulting really. Anyway. And that's a whole other rant. So anyway, I have been wanting this blazer forever and I ended up buying a dupe from Zara. 
um, for a fraction of the price. I got it on sale and clearance and all that, but it's just not the same. It didn't have these side pockets, which I just find really, really make the blazer for me. I just really, really like it. The fabric is gorgeous and drapes beautifully and won't crease or wrinkle. So I think it's going to be a perfect travel companion. So we'll see. Maybe I will end up taking both of them because I think the Barefoot Dreams will be great for the plane. And then this for once I arrive in Australia, if I just want a little something for my shoulders or just to spruce something up. And then last but not least, this was an impulse buy. I actually was in the store and I saw this and I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna quickly try it on. And it's by Wilfred Free. And again, this is an extra, extra small and it fits like a small or a size six but it's extra, extra small. And it's a tunic. It's actually sold as a dress, um, but I am wearing it as a tunic over leggings and it has pockets, which I thought was absolutely adorable. However, when the pocket is up here, there, it makes a lot more bulk in the fabric, which tends to make you look really bulky and heavy in the midsection, which isn't really ideal, but I just think it's a very comfy tunic. It's a really nice fabric, nice and stretchy, very forgiving. I think this would make a great maternity top because your nice little belly can hide in here so easily, or maybe if you've just had a really big meal and, and want to hide that, but I think this would be a lovely maternity Eternity top because there's just so much extra fabric in the midsection and then nice pockets and it's nice and comfortable and stylish and I'm wearing it on top of a pair of Lululemon leggings so simple and easy and very basic but I thought it just really dressed up the outfit this came in quite a few cut well not quite a few there was cream this is the dark um, heathered gray there was a lighter heathered gray and a solid black I really liked the black but I figured it would probably attract a lot of pet hair I have white cats and everything ends up with white cat hairs. So I opted for this um, gray, which I thought would be, you know, it's a little bit dressier, a little bit casual, and I really enjoyed the color. And this was a pretty good price. This did have a very good sale price on it. So um, I just grabbed it as an impulse buy, and I'm quite glad I did. And again, this would also be a fantastic traveling outfit as well, but I think I'm gonna stick with a blazer, t-shirt, and um, pants. That's probably what it's going to end up. I just don't know which blazer yet. So anyway, that was my haul from the Aritzia sale. So I had a couple of good finds in there. I did pick up a different blazer. Um, than this Macaulay at the beginning and it was lined. It was actually half price, but it just wasn't as nice as the Macaulay. And I thought, you know, I'm just gonna not get that one and get the one that I've always wanted and just be done with it. So that was my haul from Boxing Day. So let me know if you got anything from the Boxing Day sale and if you have any um, suggestions of neat things that they had that I might have missed because they said the sale will be continuing on, just not the whole store is on sale, but there will be a lot of things probably here that are still on sale too. So thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.